No, Mr. Sudame didn't, or Mr. Hussein did not feel the need to interrupt my Reno this year. So we're pretty happy about that. Are your uh, friends back with the Stealth this year? Yeah, all the Jets are back home. Uh, all the Jets are back from the desert. Uh, we were unable to work out the deal to bring the airplane here to Reno, so you won't see an F-117 here at Reno. So you're flying something just a little bit different? Well, something just a little bit different. You've got your yin and your yang. This is about as far opposite from a 117 that you could get. Uh, but, uh, I sure do enjoy flying it. How'd you do in qualifying? Uh, actually, my little brother Tommy qualified this airplane. He qualified it at uh, 206 and some change. Not as fast as I would have qualified it. So we where gotta, is he? How come you're flying? We flipped a coin and he lost. We, we've also got another T6 out here, the, the Stalker 512, which I qualified. Is that a new one? Well, it's new to Reno, but it's a very stock airplane. Uh, so that airplane was not fast enough to make the field, but it looks like through some attrition we may, we may make the field. I uh, understand somebody was DQ'd for low flying on the last race, so that'll bring the Stalker up into the sixth place in the bronze. So there is a chance that Tommy and I could fly in the, uh, in the same race on Sunday. That would be interesting. It would be interesting. Now, if we can just get you flying up there also in the same race. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah, three, uh, three dwellies. In fact, uh, Kenny's grandfather's a T-6 pilot. We, uh, during the Second War, we got him qualified uh, two years ago. Wouldn't that be great to have three generations in the same T-6 race? Okay, y'all set. We have control locked down. Yeah. Okay, fly safe, huh? Hey, always. 